Greetings everyone, here's Lodrek again and this is the game one, the Pacific Admiral's Edition. This is my play by email match against Sagoon, he's allied player and for me it is Japan. This is scenario one on game version 26b and yeah, no modifications, everything is normal. This will now the turn of uh, 12th February 42 and we flipping here some bases each other. Some Dutch short range submarine. This is a 45 centimeter, similar to a Japanese old boat uh, Dutch submarine. Short range, small torpedoes. American uh, S boats, they're all this older generation. Second generation of submarines, maybe. Good. Shallow water, so maybe I can create some hit. And also damage. I mean, seven hits and maybe it must return to port. Not sure if this is enough to sink. No sinking sound first. And this is, I think, this second bombardment of Pago Pago. Yesterday I made a daytime bombardment, and this is now the rest of the ammunition I consume and then return to Suba. Uh, I create some damage and maybe fatigue for the units. Also picking up more dot bases. Destroyer hit a mine and I detect here a minefield. And at the same time, other short range submarine attacked here one of my cargo ships, troop transport cargo ships. And my escort is a little slow, but at least uh, they engage the enemy. And I can create here 12 hits, so the submarine is for sure not more ready for combat. Uh, this is a 45 centimeter torpedo, so maybe my ship can survive. And this is yeah, Seattle, Vancouver. Only detection, but no battle. And yeah, you can see already that the uh, Sagoon, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe sent submarines in or whatever he had. Must be normally must be submarines because they had surfacing uh, task forces, and they place some mines in my base, and yeah. Well, at least one of my destroyers hit a mine. Hopefully, you can survive. Luckily, it's my base, so this ship can more or less uh, immediately put down and uh, uh, focus on repair work. Some ground attacks with not much effect. Maybe here, Borneo, Pietra. You can see all destroyed unit and okay, the unit is still on the map. This is more suppressing. So yeah, last turn I think Sagoon had here a bombardment. So he must take this turn to base, it's automatic flipped, so, but he still cannot walk out. And I have one more day to bring in my own Japanese army to protect Amoy. And here are some uh, Dutch buffaloes. So this is the Dutch buffaloes with light machine guns and no armor protection. But 
more speed and at least better maneuver values. Um, but I have still, I think the better pilots, this is a big difference here. And I maybe get some victories out of this. So a lot of blue reports you can ignore more or less. And this is my invasion fleet for Palmbang. So all the time I had the other patrol boats to lure in enemy submarines and airstrikes. And then finally I come in and one of my ships gets really attacked by the submarine. So unlucky. But it can happen. There are also some Doniers out of Ambon. They are taking you my... I think this is a cruiser formation, I'm not much sure. Uh, but then Odo on Bomb Pit. Good. So the allied ship sunk. But I really don't know where and what. I only know that this was my damaged ship. And up to now I had maybe a chance to survive, but now with two more hits, even if they are 45 centimeter. Uh, no, I will not survive this. I'm only not sure if this is exactly the same submarine. Maybe. So, I'm not more sure, but maybe this is the first or the second cargo ship I lose against the enemy submarine, maybe. So I try to attack here, uh, Kung Chang. This is a stronger tank, regular German with medium tanks, so they are good for attacking Chinese units, even in after. Huh? And the Chinese, they don't really have, I mean, they have attack power. And it's not that they are broken, but they don't have the guns to really uh, defeat my tanks. So I maybe need three, four days to overcome the Chinese defense, but I think I simply can drive over them. And, yeah, no. This is this leftover Chinese uh, unit from last turn. The one unit was uh, would not surrender or not retreated, and now it's surrender. It's dead. Fine. And bombardment here in the high mountains. So so. Here I have now some more guns, so I can also create more damage. Good, good. Pin down. Empty dot base. Empty dot base. There's really nothing. Only dot base. Same here. Okay. So, an air battle after many days and a successful defense uh, against a Dutch enemy fighter sweep. But also the first loss of a cargo ship. Long. I mean, maybe it's really the first cargo ship. I'm not more sure. I lost cargo ships before, but this was all, I think. Uh, Coalition damage or rock damage, so not really impacted by enemy activity. Good. So air losses, seven to one. Okay. And yeah, so it's over reported. So there are seven Dutch buffaloes destroyed, not eight. And I lost one Oscar, one C by Ops. But I lost no pilot. Okay. Ship sunk. Uh, there was an allied ship sinking, but I really don't know what. For me, it is a cargo ship. 
a standard cargo ship, better standard cargo ship, but yeah. Three torpedo hits each 45 centimeter. This is too much. So, mm. so in China, I'm again in position to fight here again with this uh, great Chinese army if they don't uh, retreat this turn. And the rest is static. My tanks are here in position attacking. And I have here a lot of medium tanks and light tanks, but it's a, it's a more or less a medium tank regiment, and they are more for attacking. I have a. This is a tanketten. This is even smaller or lighter than a light tank. So, this is we. This is. If the enemy have no AV more left, open to run or something. Or in this case, I use them for block. They can defend, but they cannot really attack so well. Good, so the Chinese uh, Wen Chao army is now here. And my own army is on the way. I'm making 30 miles per day. So next turn I'm already more or less one third here. In two days I can maybe across here. In, three, four, in four days I will be here. If I bomb the Chinese, they needing... Well, maybe need see the Sagu needs three days to arrive here, so we could arrive more or less at the same time in Amor, and he must arrive and then attack first next day. So if he arrive, he arrive maybe one day earlier, but he cannot attack immediately. So if he want to attack, then I arrive. We will see. It's a uh, tough, and uh, I'm not sure who will win this battle, but. We will. Uh, if I get my units in, then I, it's impossible for him. My advantage is I have here level 4 forts. It's only clear terrain, but I think even I have here not much, only this uh, support units, but yeah, against Chinese units and without uh, supplies, I think it's okay. The rest is all here normal, nothing to discuss. Also here nothing to discuss. I pick here one, two, three more bases or dot bases and then it's over. My Thai forces, I don't really have much more here. They arrive and I cannot attack nine units. I hope maybe Sagoon attack me and I mean for defense they're okay. Or I must wait that maybe more Thai forces leaving the hex and then I can attack. If there's one or two units left, I would try to attack. I'm not so sure. At least I won't give pressure, let's say this. Here I lost my sub, uh, my cargo ship somewhere. Not more sure where. I think this guy, this convoy lost one of the uh, ships losing, uh, loaded with tanks. Okay. Next turn I will arrive in uh, Palembang. So I have here uh, high detection, so I know exactly what is inside. This uh, enemy search airplanes, they are already damaged because some days ago they trying to attack me and my zeros damaged them all, so I think they are out of uh, yeah, off duty in maintenance or in repair, whatever. So they cannot attack me, so I only worry that maybe there's an airstrike coming off of Bari Papan, uh, off, out of uh, Batavia. But I have long range cap. Uh, covering my own invasion fleet and maybe there are mines so I must have I have here a local minesweeper he will more or less enter the same turn and he will maybe enter earlier then detect maybe the minefield and then I can unload I will see mm. here is also a minefield an enemy minefield uh, hitting one of my destroyers I unloading here some divisions, so more the real forces are coming. Uh, better my, I don't know if it's better, but my destroyer tanks the mine and not my cargo ship, so no casualties against the troops. But the destroyer is now uh, not more ready for combat for some time. That for sure. But no active fire, so I can stand down the destroyer, and then it's okay. 
Anything else other mine hit? No. Yeah. All the rest looks fine and I have here one division, two divisions and a base force. Because up to now I have here no base force. And I don't know, I thought normally they will unload already, but um, they're a little slow. Because my Navy Guard units are already in Soa Baya. So I will attack with my Navy Guard units to test the water. I saw that here are not really a lot of attack power left. And still this uh, reported battleship and light cruiser, I'm not so sure. And yeah, Sagoon lost uh, most of his fighters and the rest is maybe all damaged. So you have still some bomber, level, at least one land bomber uh, wing and one or two, maybe even three uh, navy search units. Oh, this detection is not good enough. And uh, on top, I also have a other task force going for uh, Kendari. Yeah, I think this guys will go for Kendari, and then I have uh, yeah, this uh, yeah, and this air uh, task force. This is a division. I will bring in for Ambon. So I will go with a uh, division for Ambon because sometimes it's a little tough with the regiment can be work, but I mean it's possible. But I wonder it's quickly now. The time is running. So one division go on bond and the regiment can normally go take Kandari. Kandari is uh, more easy to take. Uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, there was an airstrike coming out of Ambon, but uh, luckily my flag uh, damaged them all. Here's a cruiser formation. They're waiting normally to beat the invasion fleet. And I had uh, I had over my invasion fleet, I think, long range cap. Yeah, but not over my cruisers. Oh, yeah, that I forgot. But more equipment is coming and everything else is moving around. That is all fine. Nothing too special. My carrier fleet is now here more or less nearly arriving at the edge of the map. So one more turn and maybe next one I'm here and then I will more or less stay six hexes away uh, or seven hexes in this direction more or less. And then I can make a one sweep here around the map. Go over to Tahiti because there was some activity. Let's see what is there and then return to Pago Pago. And at the same time I try to prepare here my invasion for Pago Pago. Good. See you next time, take care, bye bye.